everyone. Welcome back to Cover to Cover with J&J. I'm Jalen. And I'm John. And this is the show where we talk about all the marching arts things you want. <laughs> one more time. One more time. Go. Go. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Cover to Cover with J&J. I'm Jalen. And I'm John. And this is the show where we talk about all the things you want to learn about in the marching arts. So today on this episode, we have somebody who is insanely talented, Michael Rosales from the Breakdown Camp. Uh, Michael was born in Manila, Philippines, uh, moved to San Francisco at the age of nine, where he trained, danced with several local groups in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, his training in ballet, jazz, modern hip hop, Latin, jazz, and color guard makes him one of the most sought out choreographers in the country. Um, Michael is part of the CBDNA Intercollegiate Marching Band Virtual Performance, and he's here to talk to us a little bit about it. Um, before we bring out Michael, don't forget to go and subscribe to our channel so you can get all of the notifications for all of our new series. Carlos and Bandana Viva just filmed an amazing episode with a super special guest for his first episode. All I can say is that his guest is the first Latina to be president of, the, of an organization she worked for. That is amazing. So let's go a little bit into deeper about what Michael is working on. So CBDNA and GPG Music in conjunction with Style Plus, Halftime Magazine, CollegeMarching.com, Guard Closet, and fan, Fans Rays are bringing together college and university marching bands from all over the country into one massive virtual performance. Uh, there are bands and universities of every shape and every size and every color participating, and we will be talking a lot about the people that are involved. Mm -hmm. So, to keep up with all of the new things that are happening with this amazing, amazing project, go and subscribe to youtube.com slash styleplusband for all of the content. So, let's bring out Michael. Yeah. 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 Welcome. How are you? I'm great. I am great. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, yes, yeah. we are so excited to have you. So, yeah. so excited. Uh, so, one thing that we do with all the guests that we have, we just give them a quick little time slot to give us a 20 second origin story. So have at it. <laughs> okay, originally <laughs> born in Philippines, grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area where I studied color guard and then I got into dance. I marched Blue Devils, I marched Raiders, I marched Fantasia, and then I went on to do Blast for a few years, did a US wow. tour, a Japan tour, a London, and then I moved to Miami to dance. And I started a talent agency here and I coached the University of Miami dance line for a few years. And now I just travel and choreograph. Wow. Oh, wow. That, that was great. So Did I fit that in 20 seconds? I think I think <laughs> that might have been the fastest story. Yeah, we had the fastest the most jumbled details that we could possibly have. It's, it was great. Um, so I'm so intrigued and so interested in you because I feel like a lot of guests we have on here are definitely color guard and I'm a dancer couldn't tell you anything about color guard I've learned kind of doing these episodes but I really want to hear um about you and some of your friends started the breakdown camp can you tell us and a little um and our viewers a little bit about that camp the breakdown camp kind of came from the idea of, we started doing incorporating way more movement and dance type stuff in the drum core world. Um, I mean, the color guards have been doing it for years, but it, we started, started to kind of bleed into the musicians and the horn line and the drummers and all that stuff. And so it was really exciting for the musicians to do it. Um, and so in that process, we forget that band directors are not trained to teach movement. These band directors are not trained to teach how to do plies, tendus, and you know what I'm saying? And how to teach their kids how to do a front somersault. And so a lot of um, musicians, younger kids, are starting to want to do these things. And I feel the stress from directors because they don't know how to teach these things. And so I wanted to create a platform where the band directors can come to us. We can kind of help them through this process and teach them how to teach fundamentals. And at the same time, the students can kind of take classes with people that you know know how to properly uh, teach the fundamentals of it. Wow, oh, that's great. That's wow. really, really great. I love to hear that, especially because I feel like you hear of dance conventions and there's always that opportunity, but mixing the two together, I think is so interesting and mm -hmm. it's really cool to hear. But go ahead, John, you have the next one. Yeah, that's, that's great. Um, so. Tell us all about the CBDNA project and like what you're responsible for. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Jeremy at Style Plus, you know, brought this up to me, and you know, he explained that it's you know college bands and and some HBCU type bands uh, wanted to put together a virtual show, um, and you know, he asked if maybe I can come and help with the choreography. I'm like, absolutely. I will create a stand routine for you. <laughs> um, yes, I will do a palm routine. Yes, I can do a kick line routine. And yes, yes. I can do a flag and a rifle I routine. Love it. So it's, it just made sense. I was like, oh, absolutely, I would do it. And, and to be able to kind of give back to these colleges who are missing out on so many things yeah. and so many performance opportunities. Um, it's just another platform that I think as a community, we can all come, come together and kind of like lift each other up. Wow. Hey, that I is love that. Yeah. That is great. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I just, I, I honestly, I'm, I'm not in the, I'm not, I'm in a, I'm in university right now, but I'm not, we don't have a marching band, so just people that have done, who have that experience and have taken it away from them, and now they get a chance to actually do it one more time, it's, it's great, and I wish I was at one of those universities because I would definitely be participating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, and bowl games, I know, I know bowl games are such a big thing for, yeah. you know, these programs and these teams, and to mm -hmm. just have that kind of like, taken away it's kind of like uh yeah because yeah. i i mean i've worked on a few bowl games and they're always like so much fun yeah so it's yeah, the least we my, could do one of my really good friends is on the penn state line at dance team and they just went back and like it was so hard with like football and a lot of the sports kind of being taken away so they didn't have any events to dance at so now they have the opportunity to do that and this project i think is so cool and really, it's rewarding for the college kids that have put so much work in throughout high school to then be able to be rewarded for something that was kind of taken away from them. So yes. I love that. Yes. And we want to watch them, right? We want to see yeah. what they do. We want we yeah. want them to be in front of us doing their yeah. thing. So mm -hmm. yeah. Well, this mm -hmm. is certainly a big project and we're definitely looking forward to it. So for all the information regarding that project will come a little later, but now let's have a little fun with Michael. We're going into our social media. Dive. Oh Dab. This okay. is the best part. I love yep. it. Yep. So we'll bring up three pictures that we brought from any of your social media, and we're just gonna we're talking about it. What's what's happening in this uh, picture room right now? You know what I mean? Oh lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll so it. Number one is. Yes. Oh my God. Tell me <laughs> what is happening. I love it. Because I so love that picture. Was, that was Halloween two years ago. That oh. was Halloween two years ago. It was so creative. And, and we wanted to do like Disney characters, mm -hmm. you know? And my favorite is Ursula. I'm sorry, but she just cusses everybody out. <laughs> and I'm like, I want to be her when I grow up. And so yeah. this opportunity came up. And so I was like, I'm going to do Ursula. And I have um, my friend, her mom like sews, um, mm -hmm. like costumes and stuff. And so she actually made me the, um, the tentacles and it has wiring. So like oh, when so we went moved. out, we went out to the club and like I had to roll them up really tight <laughs> next to me oh. because people were stepping on them. But yeah, they had wiring. So they would kind of like stand on their own. Yeah, wow. and of course, um, my boyfriend Christopher was like, well, I guess I'll be Triton. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was a committed outfit and costume. Yeah. It was oh, so yeah. good. I love yes. that. So I love creative. So good. When, I, when I saw that, I was like, we have to do it. This is too creative. We have to show this. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, funny. the celebration of Halloween coming up, it worked perfect. Uh, yeah. I know, and I'm not prepared this year, so <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll see what I'll have to pull out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, picture number two. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. my goodness. Yeah, I love this picture. Okay. <laughs> well, I have <laughs> I have some friends who started um, a photography kind of company where they take headshots of the dancers out here. Because I, um, I kind of act as an agent for a town agency down here. And so we wanted to kind of like do a session with them. Uh, my friend Amanda and I. And so we wanted to kind of try some pictures. And for me, pictures are so much fun. You know, like you can have fun. So I literally went to the thrift store and there's another, in the same photo shoot, there's a, like another picture with like tennis rackets and a mannequin in the back. We did that one too. But this one, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to feel like a king and we were doing yeah. it outside by the pool. And then by the end of the shoot, it was hot. So I was like, like Let's you know go. I'm going to jump in there. Let's just take some pictures. 
Yeah, that's that a great picture. Cool. I love that picture. The thrifting and then the great picture that went along with it. That's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you can get a crown at a thrift store, right. you're winning. You're winning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, wow. picture number three. Let's see it. Oh, oh yes. yes. Stop it. This, this video was so good. I would need to know why you guys were just on the boat and you were like, you know what? Let's just get some choreo on this. Like, you know what I mean? Just break it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, well that was my friend Amanda's birthday. Um, mm -hmm. But it actually started like two nights before where <laughs> um, a couple of friends and I wanted to go and, sorry, this is ringing. <laughs> um, well, a couple of friends and I went out to, you know, just like try to be outside and have a drink somewhere. And so we sat, um, you know, at an outside kind of table um, and the music was so good. And we wanted to get up and dance. We're just doing it. They were like, no, you're not dancing. I was like, okay, well, then I guess we will dance in our seats. It's going to go this on one. It's going to go on two. And it kind of just added on as the night went on. And then like two days later, we were on the boat. And we were like, hey, remember that day when we were like making up choreography? We were like, yeah, let's all do it. Let's So everyone learned it. And so we kind of did it, it on the so boat. Good. That, that was like best... That's the best thing that happens when it's like so unprepared. It's so yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. And it's literally two eight counts, so it wasn't hard. <laughs> but an arm yeah. can make a number though, man. Absolutely. You can do it. You just Boom. has to clean it. You have, uh -huh. just gotta clean it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clean it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, right. those pictures were so great. I oh. got a real good giggle out of them and they were so incredible. So and I I've appreciated that deep dive. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I, so that's Jonathan's job. I think my job is kind of a little more fun, but we get to do, I'm just kidding. We get to do a three, two, one pose, which is our thumbnail nail for the YouTube cover. So on okay. the count of three, you can do whatever pose you want, okay? Okay. Whatever pose. All right, ready? One, two, three. Yes! Oh, that was good. <laughs> so fun. I love it. I love it. Well, I had so much fun learning so much more about you. I thank you so much for coming on Cover to Cover today. today but I think John's going to wrap it us, wrap it up for us. Yes. Thank you again so much for coming. It was so much fun learning from you. And uh, for everybody that's watching, please subscribe to Style Plus Band. And on our Instagram, go follow Style Plus underscore band and follow the Breakdown Camp. Uh, check out their website too at thebreakdowncamp.com. It was so much mm -hmm. fun. Thank you again. And Thank we'll see you, you guys next week. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you. Be safe. Wash your hands. <laughs>